Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And this is our reading, our weekly reading for a very special week. It is for October 28th through November 3rd. And I think all of you know what that means. So we read on five energies mm -hmm. every week. Uh, I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five uh, crystals in the garden. And this week being October 28th through November 3rd, the 28th is the full moon. And uh, the 31st is Halloween. And November 1st is Dia de los Muertes. So we're all very excited. It's also All Saints Day. And it's also All Saints Day. So it's very busy. Lots of out. The end of November. Well, talk, actually, I forget what the name is in Celtic, uh, but it was the... I forgot. Solemn. So, so, solemn. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. But that's what the whole... That's where the whole thing of Halloween came from. I did a show one time. Do you know the first things I used to carve that we that became pumpkins for us? In yeah, Ireland, they used, I, they used to carve turnips. Oh, really? And they were the ugliest little things you've ever seen. I'm like, God, how they can well, be Turnips hard? are a funny shape. I love good turnip, though. A good turnip is good, but these guys look like a bunch of wizened up old men. So Yeah, they're hard to find here. We have different vegetables here. All right. Okay. Body says, I have a vision of the future, just like I did last week. Mm -hmm. And I have a really clear vision toward it and of it. And I'm heading that way. Body. Mind says, well, I've had to like kind of work out a lot of different things in my head. And it's like, I've had this thought, I've had that thought, and this person had this thought and that thought. And, you know, I'm open to change. I'm open to change. You know, I have a vision, but I'm also sort of flexible. Mm -hmm. Body, mind. And spirit says, I have to figure out how to become more free. I have to figure out how to, um, how to you know, make the most of my, of my experiences and utilize them to the best of my ability in order so that I can, you know, free myself from, um, I don't know, feeling confined from that. I have to, I, I'm searching for, toward freedom and I'm going to find it. Body, mind, spirit. Interesting, right? Body, mm -hmm. mind, grounding. It's like, okay, <clears throat> I'm grounded in spirit. I'm grounded in the blessings. I'm grounded in the light. I'm grounded in working with others. I'm grounded in um, a sense of uh, abundance. Mm -hmm. Body, mind, spirit, grounding. And then clarity. <laughs> this is <clears throat> clarity is <laughs> Clarity is a new <laughs> hidden sign. We are working on it. We are working. Leave it to us. Mm -hmm. Leave it to us. We are working on it. We're going to combine energies and we're going to give you intuitive understanding, but it's definitely um, a mystery. Mm -hmm. That's what I get. Interesting. Well, I get kind of the same foggy energies across this one. The body, which is the big guy right here, he's in fire and it, uh, this is stuff still we're still coping with stuff from our past i want to know when we're not because i mean if you wake up today something that's happening around you is reference with tomorrow but anyway well maybe uh, insomniacs and some and not insomnia what are the people when they lose their memory amnesiacs yeah them <laughs> god i hope i never get that one because they'll never find me my way home oh they'll find my way home i have artificial knees so when i die there's a number on there that's the first thing my kids say to, said to me after i got my knees fixed oh, oh lovely. i just found out okay, if anything ever happens to you they can find you through your knees that's lovely lovely well it took my mind off how pain much pain i was in i was so pissed at them but anyway um body is also an earth physical changes are moving forward and they're also moving moving with grounded elements so what do we have in the earth clear no no ambiguousness no mix up with other things in our earth we find our grounding stone and that's more is being brought forward to us which is pretty much you saw it's there but it's not there we're kind of thinking about it and so i'm going to spirit next which spirit is also in earth which is where things grow up from and the spirit says it's transforming, but it's not yet finished. But then a big chunk of it's in air. So why not? And 
your spirit and the way it's growing is transforming your thinking. So what stone is right next to your spirit transforming your thinking? And though it may look like to you that it's in this spot, it's not. It's all only physically grounded in the air. And it's your thoughts are all important at this point in time. So we're going to look for some clarity in this muddled mess. We're going to find our clarity in water. And it says, you have all the clarity you need. Follow one of the paths that are coming for you to resolve your own situation. So what it's saying is, we're giving you all the tools, but you still have to find your own way out. You have to watch the signs and the symbols find your way out so yeah so i guess that's do i pick the twix or do i take the mars bar i mean you know it's halloween right choices 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 <laughs> everybody you have a wonderful week i hope you had a great halloween hope you had a great des, des mortes which is that word i can't say all saints day which since that's all in english i can say that just fine and samadine uh, or something like that it, it's, it starts with an S. Yeah, that we both know. Yeah, so that we both know that over in Ireland, we'd be thrown off the island. So anyway, uh -huh. bye. have a good day. Have a good nice. week.